Hi friends, how are you? Sorry for the delay. I was trying to get the video to switch directions, but it just will not do it for me. So I'm chalking it up to a Facebook issue and we'll just carry on. Um, it might be a little bit condensed when we get to flipping you to my desk, but uh, that's all I can do. <laughs> I don't know why it won't change direction. It's very strange. But anyways, if you're out there, say hello in the comments. And um, if you're busy, that's fine because this is not my normal hour to go on. But I'm in my PJs, I've got my Baileys and tea, and I'm ready to create a card, whether you're here or not. So you can catch it on the replay if you're not here right now joining me. But if you are, feel free to jump in and say hello. All right, what do I have to tell you? Um, I haven't been live in like a month. I don't even know when the last time I was live. Um, but some online exclusives went up on the website. You can only find them on the website, so make sure you go to my store and check it out. That is my name, shannamiller.stampingup.net, and you will find some goodies. Mine will arrive on um, Tuesday, so I'll be able to then share with you some online exclusive stuff. And then one more thing, Paper Pumpkin, new one is up. It's called Meaningful, Meaningful Flowers. It is tagged to the top of my Facebook page in the um, featured area. So you'll be able to find that if you're interested in it. Uh, August the 11th, or 10th, sorry. August the 10th is the deadline on ordering that one. It is going to come with a free stamp set, I believe. I'm just reading, skimming. If I remember correctly, it will be in, oh yeah, here it is. Free um, additional distinctive stamp, which looks like a lily pad, which is really cool. So um, there is that. All right, do I have anybody out there joining me before I flip you around? I'll say hello. I'll just reboot to make sure things are going. And then we're gonna get tricky as I flip you because it's gonna be weird. Nope, I don't see anybody, but that's okay. You can catch me on the replay. Okay, so look away for three seconds while I flip you around and hopefully this will all go smoothly. But as I said, I'm just gonna put the lid on my tea so I don't spill it. Um, it may get a little confusing because it's gonna be very condensed. All right, so give me two seconds and I'll tell you when you can look again. All right, and I, I stop it. There we go. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, Facebook is giving me issues tonight. I'm just sort of sliding you into my holder, but not pushing my buttons because you'll go into emergency mode and then God only knows what will happen. So you'll see on my desk, hopefully, it was full view before. Sorry for my dirty garbage there and in the view. Um, that I may have some clues as to what we're creating with tonight. And I did post, um, I think it was Thursday, if anybody had any guesses of what we we're creating with. But I've got some fun things as I turn around here and grab what we're going to create with. If you're on, you can guess, or if you're watching the replay, you can guess as well as to what you think from the catalog we are going to create with. So this is a carrying over set, is a hint, that came from the mini catalog. Oh, hi, Rhonda. Yeah, no, that was my fault totally, Rhonda. Um, Facebook is being weird. I couldn't get my video flipped. I did start on time and then I jumped out and jumped back in. So that video probably disappeared off my thing, but I can't flip it in the normal direction. So that's what's going on. It's being weird. So Rhonda, seeing as you're there, do you have a guess of what we're going to play with? I know we'll just not love on Facebook today, right? Any guesses? Any guesses? Something that carried over on page 32 of your catalog. It is the sweet citrus bundle. Now this one is fun. I haven't had a chance to play with it too much, but this week I did get a chance to create some cards. So I made this fun little sign that sits up in, I have like a, not a traditional china cabinet. Lemon stamp set, yep, yeah, sweet citrus. Um, I have a 
not a traditional style um, china cabinet upstairs in my kitchen, but I kind of decorate it for the season. So this is a little lemonade stand that I have, and then I have um, a big fresh sign and a little box of strawberries up there. And then um, I have a little tiered tray, so the little lemon um, farmhouse bead sits on that as well. So then I have a few other things that I will show this week as I share extras and do all kinds of fun stuff. So the card we're going to create tonight is this one here. You don't have sweet citrus. Oh, well, maybe I can persuade you into sweet citrus. Isn't it fun? Now, this set is so cool because I'm just grabbing all the parts here. And I did bring in to this card, I brought in a another set that carried forward, which is fun. Always good to use your extra things carry forward where are all my little parts oh I know where I put them I hid them so I wouldn't lose them <laughs> they're in here <laughs> so we've got all kinds of little shapes and so with this stamp set it comes all as one and then you sort of build them together which we will do when we make our little grapefruits um, and then it's got some flowers that you build in the little centers it's got a leaf sorry I better make sure I'm on camera here and then I've seen them built into many, many different um, fruits. So I will show you some little examples of that. And then with the dies, you get the one that will cut out all of the shapes for you. Nice and easy. Move in camera here. Sorry, I will be playing with that all night because um, it won't be. This is obviously smaller, the case front, than the actual dies. You've got two of the leaves. You've got two of the flowers. So the... The bunch flowers and the single flower and then leaves that you can cut out at once so it makes it nice and easy but the beautiful thing about this is this is the one of the hybrid um folders where you can put your die right in there and you can emboss and you can cut all at the same time which is so fun and look at this great embossing folder it's got all kinds of little shapes so once you cut those ones i've hand cut out um these extra ones that it gives you. I did not create a piece that shows you at all die or embossed, but um, it gives you a whole sheet of those and then you can cut them out. You could technically move these around to cut them out, but I just do these ones and then I just fussy cut the rest. So there are options if you don't like to fussy cut that you can move that die around and cut out the rest. So that is the whole set, the dies, the embossing folder and the um, stamp set. <laughs> Words were not coming to my brain. So on this one I made grapefruits and lemons. So here's a couple examples of an orange and a grapefruit using Daffodil, Daffodil Delight as the outline and then Flirty Flamingo on the inside. And then this one I've used Daffodil Delight on the outside and Crush Curry on the inside. Isn't that fun? So you can make so many different ones. And here's um, a lime with green apple in the middle and old olive on the outside. And then a, another orange with pumpkin pie. And I made this one before uh, Mango Melody retired. And I need to re-ink my Mango Melody. But you'll see there, Mango Melody is on the inside. That makes a great little orange. And then, of course, using your Daffodil Delayed Crushed Curry makes your lemons. Or you can mix in Lemon Lolly if you want sort of a lighter center to your lemon. Like, you can mix and match things. And then today, I was eating some... Um, watermelon sour gummy candies and I thought I was thinking of this one in my brain and I'm thinking oh my goodness I can make a watermelon so I came home right away and I made a watermelon isn't that cute so I took um, shaded spruce and did the outline for the rind and then I did a melon mambo on the middle and then I kind of used my blender pen and sort of blended it all together because obviously um a watermelon doesn't kind of have like segments like an orange or a grapefruit or anything like that so I thought if I blended it together a little bit it would um, look a little bit more like a watermelon and then I used my basic black pen and I just kind of colored in some of those little segment pieces that you'll see very detailed on this one and just made seeds I also thought that you could if you totally blended it out or say just used a watercolor pencil and sort of just did in that shape um, with a melon mambo or something pinkish 
then you could easily use um, the playing in the rain. The raindrops would make really good watermelon seeds. So that's another way to use some other stamp sets to uh, kind of make some fun fruits. <laughs> right? So we'll give it a go and we'll make this card. And so I've dragged in, in my background, I've dragged in the petal park. So I've used the leaves and I've used the flowers in this one as well to kind of mix things up. I've got um, Flirty Flamingo, Daffodil Delight, and Lemon Lime Twist are my colors, as well as the flowers I did in um, Smoky Slate. And I did the sentiment in Smoky Slate. So I have a basic gray card base. I've got my basic white um, five and a quarter by four piece to go on top, which we are going to stamp our um, grapefruits out on to start off with. Just adjusting my light here, it's blinding me. All right, so we're gonna grab the outline stamp. I call this the outline and I'm just gonna line it up on my block. You could use your really, really big block, but I'm too lazy to grab it. And then we will grab our Daffodil Delight. This set is so fun and so like summery. And I'm just gonna stamp it right in the middle just to make it nice and easy for us. So we've got that stamped in Daffodil Delight. And I'm just gonna pull this off. I will clean it after. And what I like to do is lay out my piece so that I know I've got it where I want it because with these larger pieces they can kind of stretch and pull as you pull them on and off your block so you just want to make sure that you've got that in where you want it and you can adjust it and then I just take my block and I plump it down on top and then I pick it up and I know that it's going to fit right into those holes and openings perfectly once I've inked it up. So I'm taking the Flirty Flamingo and I'm just gonna try and line this up. It might be a little off because obviously I can't stick my head right in the way. My camera's right there. Oh, that looks pretty good, wouldn't you say? All right, so that's our flirty flamingo done. We'll get that out of our way. And then we are going to bring in our die. I'm just going to run off camera here and cut it really quickly. This card is super easy and simple. And of course, I have extras to share with you. So there'll be lots of ideas for you. And then on Wednesdays, on my Facebook page and my Instagram, there'll be more extras going on. Those go up at 11 and 11.30 give you more inspiration of what to do with it and then tomorrow there'll be a scrapbook page posting with the sweet citrus as well for more ideas you like the watermelon Rhonda? I like it too sorry I need to watch my camera and make sure that I'm in view this is really hard this view here I'm just gonna put that over there because it's getting in the way so now I'm going to take my leafy filigree sort of stamp from the Petal Park and I'm going to put that on my block. I'm just going to pull off the insides of the grapefruit or lemon or whatever fruit you're making. What would be your favorite fruit to make, Ranja? Would you make some watermelon? Would you make a watermelon card? And I'm going to grab a post-it as well. Because what I want to do is break up my filigree here or my leaves. So I'm just going to kind of hover above because I want the bottom ones to go fairly low to this corner. And obviously this stamp is fairly close together because of the other design that it is and we are going to cover up some of it so it's okay if some of it gets in the middle here because we are going to be putting our fruit in the middle and then I'm going to flip my post-it around 
so that I kind of get this in the upper corner and then I have something to build my fruit off in the middle. So we're just sort of use that mask. You could use masking paper as well. Whatever's easier, whatever you have handy. Most of us have post-its handy, so they're easy enough to grab. So we've created that background there. And then we're just gonna take our fruit and sort of build it wherever we like on top. And we're gonna hide that little mess that we made underneath, right? But first, we have to stamp our flowers. So the flowers I'm using are the ones from Petal Park. You eat watermelon every night, Rhonda? Good for you. I love watermelon. It's so expensive right now, though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I'm using Smoky Slate. And I'm just stamping the flowers. Now this card is not entirely my design. I did modify it from... Who did I get this one from? Emma Goodard um, from the Coastal Crafter. And then I'm bringing in my lemon lolly for my middles. I probably should have given that a second to dry. I'm still finding my basic white is taking a few seconds to dry when, after I stamp. I don't know if any of you are having that problem. but it seems to need to take a few seconds to uh, soak into the paper. So I'll just cut these and I'll be very careful as I do this, obviously. Um, I don't have the punch for this set, so but if you did, it does punch out these flowers. So you could easily use, I better get on camera here. Um, you could easily use the punch to do these as well, but they're not too difficult to fussy cut. So that's why I didn't get the punch. Although I think I may have just recently ordered it because I had some free money to spend and I was like, I almost have everything out of the new catalog so that I want. And so I'm like, I'll just use it and then I'm good. And then of course the holiday catalog will come out. Us demonstrators get to pre-order in August. So we'll get that but there are on in the online exclusives there are a few holiday sets that are super cute of course I'm sure you've seen the trucking along set as I said my order will be here on Tuesday and I think that comes back in stock on the following Monday the 17th if I've heard and read all the information correctly Oh, you have this punch, Rhonda, and you did a class. Awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did order the punch, to be honest. Oh, what else did you say there, Rhonda? I can't see it. Moves up in my stand and I can't see. Oh, watermelons used to be $10 out there. Oh, I think they're like $14 or $15 out here, Rhonda. It's absolutely insane. And then you never know what they're like on the inside, right? So yeah, you buy a watermelon for $10. I saw, I follow a Costco group locally here and um, cause people go shopping every day and then they post all the good deals and then you know exactly what Costco to go to cause every single one of them out here carries different things. And someone posted that they spent $18 on a watermelon and the, it was tiny and she cut it open and it literally was like, almost rotting she was so mad Costco is great though because they will take that kind of stuff back and refund you but I would have been mad too <laughs> that's uncalled for okay so we've got our flowers and we've got our um, grapefruits and then the linen thread and then I have to grab our dots that I used all right so let's build up this card so we've got our base and we'll put this layer down and make sure that I'm in screen. If I go off screen, Rhonda, holler at me, please. So uh, do you have your PJs on? Are you sitting around in the armchair just watching me or are you in your craft room creating? As you know from my post this morning, duty called. I had to go to work early this morning, so. I thought it'd be fun to come on at night and uh, do a class because Saturday's the only nights that I'm actually off. 
from my nighttime job unless the daytime jobs get too busy and I need to do the building that I do every night. <laughs> um, on a Saturday night instead. So I'm just kind of layering on wherever I so choose. Oh, hi, Glenda. How is your vacation visiting the grandkids? Those cute little munchkins. Oops, I might have gotten some little bit of um, flirty flamingo there, it looks like. Okay, and then we'll grab some mini dimensionals and put our flowers on. And if you wanted to, you could easily um, kind of turn up your sides with your bone folder and kind of give that flower some dimension. And I think I'm going to change it around. Well, I put the big flower down on this one because I made a boo-boo down here and I had to cover it up. <laughs> I think I might put it right there. And I'm gonna tie my bow in linen thread because I need to tuck that behind right now before I put some more flowers down. And I'm just trying to, I'm losing comments as you guys are talking so quick. Um, you're creating, awesome Rhonda, good for you. Oops, the kids are just going to bed. I forget, are you on my time or are they still on BC time? I forget up there. No, they're still BC time. It's almost my bedtime, that's why I was like, oh, well, I'll just put my pajamas on because that makes sense, right? You missed the beginning though, Glenda. I am wearing my Stampin' Up pajamas that I made that I put my emblem on. <laughs> Add to the sandbox, people, if you want stamping up branded pajamas. <laughs> Although I guess we can't wear those on public every single day. <laughs> They're on BC time. Okay, that's what I thought. You're doing my sketch challenge. Awesome. Good job, Rhonda. Post it on my page, too. Not just the team page. It's the exact same challenge on mine. All right, so we've got our little bow on there. Oh, I did show them at the beginning. It's kind of hard to um, show them now because I flipped my camera. This is my camera issues. They're my flowery ones. I've posted these before. I posted them on my anniversary. They're the only Stamping Up branded ones that I've made. They're silver icing pajamas, but um, I branded them with the Stamping Up logo. And then I have a different pair to brand with my Chalk Couture. They're just a gray. I just got them the other day, so that's next on my list to do. Oops. I'll probably maybe do a video of how I'm doing it. Oops, I'm going to save that flower till I do my sentiment. So it's got some great sentiments in here. Sending you a big squeeze. Thanks a bunch. Enjoy the sweeter things in life and have a zesty birthday. So I'm going to use the sending you a big squeeze. Except I got a block. I'm somewhat prepared. And the smoky slates again. And then this is just a little, um, oops, turn it that way, a little piece that I cut off of that one. So I just cut two. All right, we've got sending you a big squeeze. Just throw all my stamps down there to clean after. And I'm just gonna give this a wave around because ink is not drying for some reason on some of my cardstock lately. And we'll grab a dimensional. And we'll hack off the sheet here, another one. And I'm just kind of placing that in between the bow and the flowers because that's where I want my sentiment to go. 
I'm going to drag my tail up. My bow tail, that is. I don't personally have a tail. <laughs> oh, it says three or four people are watching. Who else is out there? Say hello, you guys. So I can say hello back. Tell me what you're all up to tonight. This is kind of fun seeing everybody at nighttime. Okay, and then I forgot that I have these gorgeous dots. They're the ombre matte decorative dots, and they come in um, Calypso Coral, Old Olive, um, Coastal Cabana, and Native Navy. And I used the Coastal Cabana ones on here because I thought it actually matched really good with the um, Flirty Flamingo that I used for the grapefruit. And I know I should use my take your pick tool, but here I am again using my scissors. So three of those and that decorates that really cute. And so we've got pretty much the same card. I don't know if it'll get it full on the screen. Hi Yvonne, that's who else is out there. Isn't that cute? So as I said, that was an inspiration, kind of tweaked a little in my, in, with my style um, of Emma Goodard of the Coastal Crafter. She made that card. Okay, and then I've got this cute little box that I made that says thanks a bunch and I've made some little oranges and I just used my blender brush, Calypso Coral and pumpkin pie on that and then I embossed that little flower. And this is the um, bold and beautiful paper, that bright birthday paper. And then on the inside, so this is a fun little box. Oops, that's, I'm opening the wrong side. And it closes. So it's sealed shut with glue dots on one side. And then it's just um, kind of overlapped on the other side. But I got these Fanta Mentos. Has anybody seen these? So I thought this was perfect to make an orange and green, just like the packaging, for the Mentos. They're actually pretty good. They're not very orangey. So if you like orange you probably want something different um, but it fits in this little box so then when you close it you just kind of go like this and slide your finger in there and just kind of make a little crisscrossy isn't that cute oh you use this set Yvonne isn't it fun so there's oranges we made grapefruits what else do I have for you um, we got lemon, so I made this little box. This was um, Tammy Hewitt's inspired, and I used hues of happiness paper in the purple and behind and for the leaves. So she made this little gift box, and I think this is so cute, and I brought the sentiment from um, Just Your Type, because I thought it'd be kind of cute to find all like the lemony, kind of bright, cheerful treats out there. I didn't have time to go shopping, but fill the little box and then give this to someone as a little ray of sunshine box to cheer them up isn't that cute so she had a couple other things she had, she wrapped her paper this way um tammy and then she embossed um her cardstock so she had some yellow cardstock here embossed with the folder and then um she did a few other different things that i um took off and modified in a different way isn't that cute yes i love the yellow and the purple isn't that gorgeous and then those are the little flowers that come in the set. And then you just do the little centers afterwards. Isn't that adorable? And so what other, not vegetable, what other fruit do we need? And then I've got a few parts. To, oh, the coconut one. So this was um, Tammy Hewitt as well. She did this. Now, I kind of had to alter what I was doing because I could not figure out what she did for her flowers. And... She did something else on hers. I, it's not coming to my brain. But this is that retired linen um, fabric, stick-on paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, that was fun. I have a ton of it, and I haven't used it. So I thought, oh, that I need to bring that out. And then she, she made a coconut. So it started off that I wanted to make a coconut. And so I had to figure out how to do that. And so I took and stamped the base. Oh, I took it off. So this one, this little base one, I stamped that one and the big one in um, early espresso. And then I made myself a little mask. So really I just, I laid my paper over top of, I'll just 
just kind of drag it over here and show you because I don't have the stamp. I laid it over top of what I stamped and I could see, you can kind of see underneath, you can see your image line, which you would on your piece of cardstock as well. And then I kind of just drew a circle and then when I pulled it off, it didn't have the sticker, it still had the sticker backing on it. I basically just folded it in half, snipped a little hole, put my scissors in there and then just went and trimmed all the way around. And I did the same for the small little coconut. So this one, and then I came in and I took my mask. So this is the masking paper. And I went over top of it like this. And then I took a blender brush and, oh, what color did I use? I think I used gray granite very lightly with my blending brush and I just kind of went around and made myself a little circle on both of them and then I pulled it off and then I made a little coconut and then I did the alcohol technique with some um, daffodil delight some melon mambo some calypso coral and one other color I can't remember what it was um, and then drip the alcohol on it and then I cut out the flowers using the dyes so these ones and I sort of just use my bone folder flip them up kind of made them very textured and then um, just layered them on with glue dots. I layered them on top of each other because some are smaller and some are bigger. And then I added the iridescent pearls to the middle. Hoping I'm getting that in view. And then I stamped lemon lolly, or not lemon lolly, uh, lemon line twist and um, garden green in my, what's the word, leaves. <laughs> my goodness you guys and then I uh, kind of just layered it all together like she did this is almost exactly as she did I think she had a couple of little elements on there um she did have a greeting and then I it was across here and I thought it was too much I'm like I'll put my greeting on the inside um which I haven't done yet the inside's just blank and then um she added a little double bow and then she just used a blending brush um I think she used a different color on the base I used Coastal Cabana and did blending with Coastal Cabana as well. And then just added a little layer. I think that's fun. It's very tropical, very fun. Oh, this isn't my idea, Rhonda, but thank you. It's Tammy Hewitt. She's one of our, I think she's an artisan still, to be honest. Um, Cause there's Tammy Wilson and Tammy Hewitt. I, I love them both. Tammy Wilson's the one that does all the funky bows. So the really bushy bows, that's Tammy Wilson. And then Tammy Hewitt does a lot of this sort of stuff she likes to layer she likes to jizz it up she really goes goes big so that's a few examples of a whole bunch of fruits that you can make with the sweet citrus dyes and the hybrid um, folder and the stamp set wherever it went over here it's so fun i love it and i'm sure i will create more with it and as i say um, Yvonne and Glenda, you came on late, but um, I made a little watermelon today. So shaded spruce melon kind of blended that and then I just did the dots with my basic black marker. And then of course green apple old olive for a lime. Oh, I didn't make any, anything lime. I'll have to work on that. Um, pumpkin pie and mango melody if you still have it and I need to re-ink mine, but that makes a nice little orange. And then we use the grapefruity type one and then daffodil delight and crushed curry for your lemon if you're using a lemon or you can use lemon lolly and daffodil delight is what i used on the box to make my lemon and then i just cut those leaves out of scrap that i had is this not cute right who's got this set yvonne said she played with it Rhonda, i think you said you had it but my favorite is the watermelon. What do you think? You guys like the watermelon? Isn't that adorable? And as I said, you could blend that out a lot more so that, because obviously watermelons don't have segments, but um, it was a cute idea. I was inspired by some candy I was eating today. <laughs> you don't have this one, Glenda? Didn't turn your crank? It didn't for me at first. And then I've seen so many projects with it that, um, I was like, I gotta have it, right? I gotta have it. So it was a quick and easy card tonight. Um, that didn't seem to take very long. <laughs> Isn't the watermelon cute, Yvonne? Maybe I'll stamp my uh, envelope on an inside for it. 
if anybody has any questions while I'm here and you can kind of watch me do my my center while we chitty chat or I can get not yet exactly right <laughs> you will be persuaded eventually I can guarantee it it was Emma and um, Emma Goodard and uh, who's the other one? Um, Michaela Tithridge. She made some really cute ones too. And they kind of threw me in the direction of that I needed it. So those darn ladies. But Emma's, her, um, yeah, Emma's cards were really cute. That's where the one that I made tonight was inspired by. So I'm just quickly doing my inside and my envelope and then we're ready to send because you know with all the comments I'll do a draw and I'll send someone the card that I need. Isn't that fun? And then you can pass it along to whoever you want. Um, well Rhonda we get to see a preview of the holiday catalog for a demonstrators only um, on the 26th of July and I believe it's the first week in August but I can look that up and send you a message about it because I don't remember completely off the top of my head to be honest this week has been crazy <laughs> I just know I can see it on the 26th oh hey Carla look at everybody the whole gang's here <laughs> maybe I should come on at night more often Oh, there we go, Rhonda. Glenda's commenting. She knows it all. She's in the business. She's 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 on top of things. She says August third or fourth. I probably have it written down in my um, calendar, which is stuck on the floor out of the camera view um, on the other side of the room here. <laughs> Everybody saying hi, Carla. <laughs> Yvonne's here too, Carla. <laughs> so yeah. Anybody have any questions about the little goodies that we made, the little fruits? Um, like I say, be on the lookout for some extras on Wednesday at 11 and 11.30 between my my Facebook page and my, and my YouTube. If you're not following me there, go ahead. I'm under Carrot Tops Creative Co. And um, what else? I think that's it. Be on the lookout for online exclusives. Like I say, the truck bundle will reload on uh, next Monday the 17th from what I understand I have the timeless charm bundle coming and I've got the truck bundle coming so or no the stamp set I did not get the punch the punch did not turn my crank so I did not get it um, I'm okay fussy cutting it I took a really hard look at the punch and the stamp set and sort of determined whether or not I could fussy cut and still be creative or that I needed it. Eventually I'll probably end up with it, you know me. But um, for right now, I did not get it. So hopefully this video wasn't too crazy because of the weird angle and I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on there or I'm gonna have to switch streaming services, but we'll deal with that bridge when we get there. So thank you everybody for coming in tonight to say hi. So excited. I know, Glenda, I did not get the punch. I have many things. Like I was saying when I was punching with Petal Park, at first I did not get the punch because I was like, I can cut those flowers out, which I did tonight. But then I had some post-it spending, and so I did order it. It'll be here on Tuesday. But um, just sometimes I look at it and go, I don't need it. I do that with dyes, too, sometimes. I go, I just don't need them. I can fussy cut. I, I enjoy fussy cutting. just my thing my thing right I'm sure we all do it as demos right you kind of go well I could save 20 30 dollars here and then I could buy this instead and I can get the punch later on down the road so <laughs> that's my thought process anyways <laughs> it might be totally crazy that's right Rhonda we can't buy everything and we need to budget accordingly you are correct so I pick and choose. I always end up with it because, of course, I like to have bundles so that when I sell them off, I can have a full set of things for somebody to love on. 
some more after I've loved it for a while. All right, well, I've got nothing else to say, I don't think. Um, thanks for joining the pajama party. And, um, well, I guess I could maybe, I'll try and flip around and show you my pajamas. Bear with me, I'm going to move the camera so look away for a sec so you don't get dizzy, okay? Oh, you silly thing. Here we go. Pitch up here. Let me get this out of the way. Sorry, I'm blinding you with the light that's there. Here, let me turn. Here we go. Here's my pajamas, Rhonda. See? I put the logo on them. <laughs> They're comfy. I'm all nice and warm and cozy down here. Because it's freezing. All my air conditioning comes from the basement. It's absolutely ridiculous. I've got the heater going. I have my tea and my little cup. And... <laughs> I'm just like, I'd have a blanket wrapped around me and my hood up. Eventually, you know, I sit down here and I'm crafting away for all you guys. <laughs> you funny, right? All right. So I will pick a winner from the comments and I will send you this beautiful card that we created tonight. And you can gift it on to somebody else. All right. Thanks for tuning in. When am I back? I am back according to my schedule on the wall. Who knows what could happen in two weeks. I'm back on the 29th. So July 29th, mark your calendars. Um, it'll be morning show um, unless I have to change. Who knows? This was kind of fun tonight. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Paper hugs and we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.